Hello, I'm visiting with Frank Murray, who is a health writer and an editor, and he has a new book called Sunshine and Vitamin D. Yes, I'm very excited about it. It's one of the most interesting books I have written. And, and you're a prolific author. Well, I've produced 50 books so wow. far. <laughs> well, in the foreword of the book, it talks about this being the most important health story of the 21st century. Yes, I was really amazed. A prominent doctor in New York has written the foreword, and he said that about the book, so I was bowled over by such an endorsement. Very good. But he found, uh, he reported that he's been uh, testing his patients for vitamin D status for 15 years, so he was way ahead of the curve. Vitamin D is sort of an orphan mm -hmm. vitamin, you know, you rarely hear about it. And yet, as I documented in the book, it's amazing how many applications it prevents. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just osteoporosis, osteoporosis, mm -hmm. osteoporosis, uh, asthma, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, all kinds of skin conditions like psoriasis. Well, speaking of skin conditions, isn't there a dilemma about being in the sunshine? That's where we get the vitamin D, That's but then there's skin cancer. That's a very good question. Dr. Holick, who's an expert on vitamin D, mm -hmm. he's with the Boston Medical School, he says the key to this is go outside for say five to fifteen minutes, mm -hmm. you know, not many clothes on, getting your vitamin D from the sun, go inside, apply the sunblock, and then go outside. There's some concern if you apply too much sunblock, it will impede the the conversion mm -hmm. of vitamin D from the sun. And uh, African Americans and others with dark skin may not get enough D from uh, the sun, so they may need to take a supplement. But he says spend five to 15 minutes mm -hmm. and you will normally get your D for the day and then apply the sunblock, then you can go outside. Obviously, if you get too much sun, you can get melanoma Right. So you don't want to get that. But using his procedure and using the supplements, mm -hmm. then you are uh, benefiting from the D and not getting a serious skin disease. So you need to get some sunshine sans the oh, yes. sunblock. Yes. And you need to supplement. Yes. I, I suggest that everyone take a vitamin D supplement, uh, usually vitamin D3. Okay. And there are any number of companies that are producing it that you find in the health food stores and uh, other stores. Well, wasn't the risk with melanoma with people sunbathing for hours at a time? Oh, yes, absolutely. They were getting plenty of vitamin D, though. Well, yes, they were, uh, and they were getting melanoma, mm -hmm. which is terrible. It's the world's, uh, it's the most uh, significant skin disease in the country, as you know. And it's on the increase. Uh, it depends on the type of skin. Some mm -hmm. people with a darker skin can absorb more of the rays. I, of course, would burn in five minutes <laughs> and, and yeah. easily get melanoma. <laughs> so it's the sunburn, of course. Yes. But now we can take vitamin D, and that yes. will really help us. Oh, absolutely. I detail in the book, as I mentioned, uh, numerous conditions, mm -hmm. asthma, uh, osteoporosis, rickets, osteomalacia, uh, psoriasis, <laughs> the list goes on and on. You would be amazed and as I began rushing through to meet my deadline and reading all of this material, I rushed out and bought some vitamin D3. <laughs> <laughs> well good for you and good for us that you wrote the book. Thank, Thank you, you Frank. Thank you. <laughs>